Today I want to show you how to properly attach a tabletop to a base. Let's do it. So you're making some type of table. It doesn't matter if it's an end table, a coffee table, a dining table, or a desk like this. So you need to attach that top so that it allows for proper expansion and contraction of the wood, the natural movement of the wood. This one is not attached yet. Let me show you how to properly attach this so that it doesn't split wide open like the Red Sea. Now there are a few ways to actually attach these tabletops. There are some that are called desktop fasteners or they look like this, they're figure eights. You can use those. I love to use these Rockler tabletop fasteners. Get off me, freaking fly. Man, you better get out of my hair. Horse flies in, all right. These are my favorite way to attach a tabletop to an apron. These are tabletop fasteners. They come with screws and they come with the hardware. Some people call these Z-clips, but they're tabletop fasteners. They're in the shape of a Z or an S, depending on which way you turn them. They come eight to a pack. They're very inexpensive. And I'll link in the description below to these tabletop fasteners. These are by far my favorite way to attach a tabletop to an apron because they're so easy to use. They're fast, they work, and they work good. And I've never had any trouble with them. Let me show you how we do it. So my router actually has an edge guide, which helps with this. If you don't have a router with an edge guide, you can just use a biscuit joiner. Easy, simple, or whatever you have to cut a slot. All right, the way I set this up is actually quite simple. So if you are gonna use a router to cut your slots, you're just gonna use, set this edge guide about a half inch away from the bit, and then the bit's gonna be a half inch deep. Very similar to the fence uh, you could set on the table saw. You're just gonna use the router instead. If you don't have a router, I've actually done this on uh, tabletops before I had the router. You just cut a dado a half inch in so that the tabletop fastener actually, it will fit between the blade and the fence. When you attach it, it'll have just a little bit of angle to it so you can actually pull it down a smidgen. And then you're gonna raise the blade about a half inch up. That's gonna give it uh, a half inch in to go like that. So you're just gonna cut a dado. Let me show you. So you would actually just cut that in the aprons before you assemble the table. And then you have a slot that runs the length of the tabletop slightly off the flat so that you could actually pull it down a little bit. And it'll, that actually works really, really well. I've done that several times on tabletops. Just cut it in the apron before you assemble the tabletop. That way you don't have to have a router or a biscuit joiner to actually use these tabletop fasteners. Just cut a, eighth, a half inch down, a half inch deep and then these tabletop fasteners run in there. I've got my frame centered up on my tabletop and now we want to install the tabletop fasteners. These things are very, very easy to use. All you're gonna do, stick it in the slot you previously cut, make sure you pre-drill the hole. You don't want this wood splitting at this point in the game. Don't drill too deep. If you're using an impact, make sure it's on the lowest setting. Just snug, it's all you need. You don't need anything else. Don't over tighten these things. I typically put six or eight per top on something this size. This is about a five foot top, about 25 inches deep. There will be an entire build of this desk coming soon. That's how you put on a desktop. If you want to see more of tips and tricks like this, click that box right there. It's going to take you to the next set of videos. Clicking that box, I earned you that big old virtual fist bump.